If I said to you, who are you? Well, if your name's Melanie, she works here in the office, then she'd probably say... I'm Melanie. Right? There's no arguing. Most people think of themselves as themselves. However, there's another way to think about who you are, because you are also a collection of cells. Yes. You know how many cells? No. Well, as an adult human, you are, with some margin of error, composed of a hundred trillion cells. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> well, it may seem like a lot. Now, here's the paradox. Inside this hundred trillion sack of cells that is you, you, Melanie, and everybody listening to this, yeah. we all of us have house guests in our bodies, little creatures, bacteria, you know them from the plaque in your mouth, though here's their favorite place inside you, says microbiologist Glenn Gibson of the University of Reading in Britain. If you uh, put your hand just around the area of your belly button, as it's called, or, or, or we call it that in England, no, anyway. we call it that your too. navel, <laughs> yeah. put your full hand on there. And just under your belly button in the large intestine below, you will find the largest gathering of your bacteria. But with their own bodies, their own genetic material, they're not you, they're just living in you. And they're just sitting there waiting for whatever you eat, and whatever you eat will feed them. And they will grow, and they'll grow up to pretty huge numbers. So Professor Gibson says in every gram, that's every 30th of an ounce of your large intestine, there's a 10 to the power 12 bacteria. That's 100 billion bacteria. That's the number of bacteria in every single gram. And when you add up all the grams that make up you, with bacteria, without bacteria, it turns out that right now you are playing host to many trillions of bacteria. Trillions and trillions, yeah. So it's huge, huge numbers indeed. So many that it turns out that we have more bacteria living inside us than we have cells. So each human, if you take that literally, is 20 times more microbes than they are mammal. Whoa. Let me, let me, let me show you. In terms of number. You know, if I were to count the number of cells that make up me, that would mm -hmm. be, say, 100 trillion cells. Mm -hmm. But if I were to count the number of microbes that are living in me, like in, a, like in the hotel of me, it would be 10 times more? 10 to 20 times. Yeah. 10 to 20 times. 20 if you're lucky. <laughs> so they must be very small. Uh, Tiny. So if a bacteria is smaller than a cell, that means if an intelligent alien were to land on, say you, Melanie, it could either say, well, there's Melanie, or it could say, there's a lot of bacteria uh, living inside something called Melanie, like kind of like a hotel. Which do you think? Um, uh, you mean like a hotel full of bacteria, or... Or, or you. Which was the truer picture of you? Yeah, um, I would say me. But an intelligent alien, says Professor Gibson, could see it differently. After all, if it was just looking at Melanie and counting what's there, there is more bacteria there than there is Melanie. In Melanie. Something to ponder, whether you're an alien or Melanie. <laughs> Robert Krelowich, NPR News, in New York.